sketchbook habit and today in this episode I want to give you a January tour of my daily sketchbook and right now I have very little time for my personal work I am working on a really big project that's taking all of my time and so I decided to challenge myself with a daily sketchbook habit um, and I have found that it is the best thing in the world for me because it keeps me fluid, it keeps me sketching every day, and it doesn't take much time. And I make it a ritual every single morning when I wake up and sit down with my coffee. I take about five minutes to do the Hobonichi Challenge, which is on Instagram, hashtag Hobonichi Challenge. And I will put all of this information in the description box below. And then I take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to do a daily sketch using watercolor and graphite in the Hobonichi Cousin. So this is my Hobonichi Cousin. It is a wonderful daily planner, but I decided to use it as a sketchbook. I love the paper. It has Tomoe River paper in it, which is this very thin yet very strong paper that accepts watercolor and graphite just beautifully. So I highly recommend them, um, but they're not necessary. Any kind of sketchbook will do. You can even make one with copy paper and fold it over and staple it. It doesn't matter. The, the important thing is that you take the time each day to sit down with pencil and watercolors or whatever your medium is that you enjoy and do something, even if it's just for 5, 10, 15 minutes. It's that daily habit that makes a difference. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what I completed in January. And my Hobonichi Cousin is the water blue edition for the cover. And I have a cover on cover. I believe it's called hmm, Beginnings. I think it's called Beginnings. And it's really lovely. It's got all these birds and little sparkles and snow, and I just love it. And the cool thing about the cover on cover, it's plastic, and so it protects your cover, which is fabric, and then when it wears out, you can just buy a new cover on cover and keep the same, you know, fabric cover for, for next year's Hobonichi. So I keep this really simple. Um, it is just my daily sketchbook, so I don't keep a lot of stickers and stuff in here but I'm just gonna show you how I use it. And so in every Hobonichi, there is um, a spread which gives you six months on a, on a two-page spread, and then each day of the week. And what I'm using this for is to write down the prompt for the day for the Hobonichi challenge. And for January of this year, um, the theme was the year of the dog. And so I've written down all of the different dogs that they suggested for each day's, day's challenge. And then later today I'll fill in February and I'll begin the next month. So this is the yearly spread in the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I started the Hobonichi Challenge in December, but I started late. So these are just my few drawings from there and they were very holiday and winter, winter themes. But this is for January 2018. And boy, it is just so much fun to see all of these little dogs looking back at you um, in this nice grid format. So every day I sat down for five minutes and I sketched the prompt of the day, which was a different dog in graphite. And then when I was done, I just um, filled in the background with a colored pencil. So really, really simple. It didn't take much time. Um, I wasn't too precious with it. I just drew the dog the best I could in five minutes time. I'm um, using my fingers a lot to smudge, my eraser to lift out highlights. And I have to say, the pencil that I chose to use, I really love it. I'm just using a Uni Kurotoga mechanical pencil, but the lead is what matters. And the lead is by Pilot Neox, and I'll write that in the description below but it is a really soft and dark 2B graphite lead, very pure. It races beautifully on this paper and it smudges beautifully. I'm just really happy with the lead. So, so that's it, I keep it really, really simple. And then tomorrow we'll begin February. And so um, whatever the theme is for the month, I'll start filling in the boxes every morning. And then I want to show you my daily pages. So the Hobonichi Cousin comes with these daily pages, a nice big spread 
um, that you can use as a planner, but I have decided to use it as my daily sketchbook. And for each month, there's a blank page, so I decided just to kind of make this wintry scene with clouds and some pine trees, and so I'll make one for February later today. And then every day, I make a watercolor background, and I dry it with my hair dryer. I clip the paper to my Hobonichi board so it protects the page underneath and it just kind of keeps the paper taut. I put my watercolor wash on and then I use a hair dryer to dry it. And what I found is that by using the gentle setting on my hair dryer, it kind of smooths out the paper. This paper tends to crinkle up a little bit with watercolor, which is actually really beautiful. And the way the paint dries on the paper is very special. I did do a video about this process and you can find it under my playlist, The Sketchbook Habit. So, I think it's called Watercolor in the Hobonichi. To, to show you, I show you one of these spreads from start to finish. So this was January 1st. Um, it's just a seedling. Um, with some roots and I thought that was nice for brand new beginnings of the year. I even wrote a quote at top and it says, as long as I am breathing in my eyes, I am just beginning. So on the 2nd of January, I loved these colors, but I just drew a simple um, wooden bowl sitting on a wooden table. Um, very, very simple. For the 3rd, um, I used some purples and grays and um, did this little earthen vessel with a sprig of leaves coming out. And for all of these pages and all, everything I'm doing in this book, I'm using my little watercolor set from Wild Thorn, and I'll also leave a link to their website below. I love these watercolors and I'm using them more and more in my work. They're very special and they're perfect for projects like this. It makes it really special. So on the 4th, I saw an angel, and there was this, I put a little bit of, of the silver wild thorn paint, um, looked like a moon to me, so that was a lovely spread. And then on the 5th, um, I also love these colors, but again, just drew a little pottery vessel with some twigs, really simple. On the 6th, this is probably my least favorite, <laughs> but I saw a face and a moon, and so that's what I drew. I, I, you know, kind of outlined it in graphite and smudged it and then enhanced the face. But here's the thing, when you're doing something daily like this every day of the year, there are going to be days where, you know, you're just not feeling it and you're not that happy with your results. But it doesn't matter. The, the, what matters is that you showed up and you did the work. And so I'm still happy with it, even though it's not my favorite drawing. And then on the 7th, I saw a glass bottle. So I drew this glass bottle with a little sprig of a plant in it. Love this bronze color. And on the 8th, I saw this sort of, it felt like water, you know, coming down. So I don't know, I drew a bathtub, a clawfoot tub in the corner of a room with a wooden floor. <laughs> And on the 9th, I believe the Hobonichi challenge for that day was a greyhound. And I clearly saw a greyhound in the way the paint dried. And so I just surrounded him with some graphite and smudged it and then filled in some details on the dog's face. See, on the 10th, I saw a clear flower in the way the paint dried. So again, I surrounded it with graphite. And I used my eraser to lift some of the paint so I could get some highlights. I really like that one. And on the 11th, another one I really didn't see anything. I loved the paint, but I really didn't see anything, so I just drew a fern and some sprigs of grass. And on the 12th, I saw some kind of Labrador Retriever or Golden Retriever in um, just kind of standing in the water, like in a creek or something. And so I tried to draw that. Um, it, I actually like it. <laughs> I wanted to say I don't like it, but I actually do. I actually do like it. And then on the 13th, I saw nothing and I wasn't feeling well that day. And so I just used my pencil to do a blind, um, blindfolded self-portrait. On the 14th, there was a clear skull shape in the way the paint dried, and so I just used my graphite to enhance it and pull out the shape that I saw. It doesn't, it wasn't based on anything real, so it, it, it's okay, but I, I kind of like the way it turned out. 
And on the 15th, I loved the way the paint dried. I used um, the color called Pistache, which is a beautiful green. And then I used a little bit of Ochre Leger, which is a yellow ochre. And I, I, I don't know, I just, I used a reference from Instagram that I saw, and I just sort of used that as a reference to draw a bowl with three pieces of fruit. And on the 16th, I saw a fairy crouching by some rocks, so I, I drew that. And on the 17th, I saw immediately this sort of rocky path up a rocky ledge. And this woman was almost entirely there in the way the paint dried. Everything about her was there, so I just enhanced it with graphite. And then I drew another figure further along uh, in the background just to sort of complete the scene. I really, really like this page. And on the 18th, boy, the way the paint dried and the colors that I chose reminded me so much of an artist that I know named Andrea Powarski, and she's a ceramicist, ceramic artist. And I purchased the most beautiful pottery um, ceramic coffee mug from her, and I drink my coffee from it every day, and so I drew that mug. This just reminded me of her so much. She loves Iceland, and it just reminded me of her colors. And on the 19th, the way the paints dried looked just like a bluebird. <laughs> so I drew a bluebird. It's sweet. On the 20th, I just saw a cup. So I drew a cup. Very simple. Yet again, didn't take me very long, but I did it. And on the 21st, I didn't see a whole lot in the way the paint dried. So I drew a little bird. And on the 22nd, um, I clearly saw a woman's face in the way the paint dried. And so I surrounded the face with graphite and I tried, I tried really hard on this one and it didn't take me very long, but I don't know, I really love it and it makes me feel kind of sad, but I, st I really love this one. And on the 23rd, I saw kind of a cat shape, so I drew my cat Sam. <laughs> I love the blue in this one, and Sam is so handsome. On the 24th, I kind of saw a mushroom and, and twigs of a, a branches of a tree, and so I drew the mushroom and the, uh, kind of enhanced the branches, and then I drew a little whimsical bird. And on the 25th, I saw a cabin kind of in a forest clearing, and so I enhanced the cabin and drew some trees and made a little path coming to the foreground. I like this one. A couple of rocks. On the 26th, there was a cat in a window. There was no doubt. So I just enhanced what was there and drew that little cat and kind of surrounded. It, it, actually, this was already there, the way the paint dried. And then on the 27th, I saw another cat shape. I must have had cats on my mind since I'm surrounded by three all day, every day. Um, so I drew my cat Ralphie sleeping. And I really love the way the graphite enhanced the paint here. This is Wood Rose and Buff Titan and Gris Fonce from Wild Thorn. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so this one... I have no idea how I feel about this. I, I actually really love it. it it's, I think it's one of the most beautiful pages. Um, but I saw a face, and so I just surrounded the shapes that I saw and smudged the graphite and just enhanced the lips and the nose a little bit. Um, it's a, in, the, in a way, this page is, is kind of scary to me, but it's also really beautiful. The, the paint colors are just gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. On the 29th, I saw kind of a maple seed, so I drew a maple seed and put a shadow underneath to make it look like it was lifting off the paper. Very simple. And yesterday, um, I just loved the way the paint dried. I love these colors. It's raw umber and buff titan and yellow ochre and the gold mica. And so I just kind of made it the corner of a room and I put a little pottery vessel on the floor. I really like this page. And then today, I clearly saw a woman with red hair. This Sienna Brule sort of dried in that way. And so I tried to enhance her face and surround her, and it gave her a black turtleneck. And I just, I love the feeling of this 
drawing. Really like it. So the month of January is now complete, and then this afternoon I'll take a few moments to make my February page to start the month, and then tomorrow I will begin again. So I really hope um, that this was enjoyable, just to see how someone is using their daily sketchbook, um, especially when you don't have a lot of time, and how important it is and how wonderful it is for me now to have this record of each day of the month and to go back and be able to see my drawings, but mostly to give myself the discipline of showing up to my sketchbook every day, even for 5, 10, 15 minutes. It makes such a difference to me. Um, I really consider it a gift to be able to do that and to, to challenge my, myself to actually show up every day. If you have any questions, please ask. I will list the materials I've used and other information in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like um, frequent updates on new videos. I try to post at least two new videos a week, um, sometimes more. And I hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. You can visit me on my website at katerayewing.com and also find me on Instagram at katerayewing and on Facebook at katerayewing-watercolors. Thanks so much.